the first Jurassic World Alive event is happening now. I'm at Craig Regional Park, and as you can see, I've got a lot of green supply drops to investigate. I'll go over in more detail, but first, I want to catch this. This is going to be a new dinosaur for me. I want to make sure that we get a great one on that first dart. So 96 for Triceratops Gen 2. And we are going to instantly be able to level that up. And we are going to spin the supply stop. It ends in 20 hours and 23 minutes because they are only around for 24 hours and then they change. I'm going to head into the park and we'll go into more detail on what's happening. One thing that I want to point out is for this event, for common dinosaurs, you're going to get 12 attempts and they're going to spawn at a rate of one per hour per supply drop. For rares, it's three that you're allowed to encounter and it's going to be three hour spawns. And then for epics, you are going to get the number of attempts of three and they're going to spawn every six hours. So if you can find a park that has more stops, you're going to be able to reach your cap a lot quicker if you don't have a park locally that has a bunch of supply drops like the one that I'm currently in, then you know exactly when these are going to spawn so that you can plan accordingly so that you capture the most DNA possible during this event. Here's what we know about the event. Today is the first day. It is Monday and you're going to be able to catch Triceratops Gen 2 on Tuesday. Look for Dilophosaurus to be available Wednesday. Ankylosaurus, and on Thursday, Drug Cortex Gen 2, with Friday being Apatosaurus, Saturday looks like it's going to be Notosaurus, and then on Sunday is going to be Stegosaurus. This information is all coming from MetaHub Info. I will put a link in their description below. They're doing some great research. I'm happy to be helping them out where I can, but a lot of this that they are coming up with their own. Now that I'm at the second supply drop, I will say, you do have a max number of coins that you can collect each day, and it does not seem like the, the special event supply drops coins are counting towards that cap limit. If that's true, you want to spend those as much as possible because while it may not be a big issue for you now, a lot of people are just starting off in the game and they have way more coins than they will ever possibly need. But the thing is, and the reality is, once you start getting your high-end dinosaurs, your epics, your legendaries up to higher levels, you are going to need far more coins than you can pick up in any given day. I'm at the second of the special event supply drops and you see the Triceratops Gen 2. That is all that is available for today. But we kind of already knew that because they said a different dinosaur would spawn each day. This is going to reset at 10 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. What I want to point out here though is you see at the top it says one of 12 attempted. So it doesn't matter which supply drop you find the limited edition, not limited edition, but the special edition dinosaurs or the special spawn edition dinosaurs, you are only going to get the specific number of attempts on it. So you can't hit each one of these supply drops 12 times. It's 12 cumulative because Triceratops Gen 2 is a common. You want to make sure that this counts. I will probably get all 12. In fact, I will get all 12 just in this one park alone and I'm not going to have to wait for the one hour time respawns. And I'm not going to make you guys watch me catch all of these, especially when I'm doing terrible at hitting my mark. Oh no. So 86 more. I'm going to continue to walk around this park and I'm going to max out all 12 that I'm able to get or as close to it as possible. As you can see, 
there is no shortage of green supply drops and triceratops gen 2s around me it seems we've reached the max we're at 12 and you can tell it says max attempts reached and there's no button to launch so we are done <laughs> and we really weren't even done we still had three four like I had no idea this park was this big five and this special event supply drop is just off the park six plus everything from where we just came what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna find some shade and then I'm gonna power this guy up to level five. We're gonna take it into battle. I've reached my max of the Triceratops Gen 2. I do have a bunch more that I could go get. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's either eight or nine still on my screen available to pick up, but we did reach our max. Let's go in and look Let, first. Let's go collect our free incubator and we will talk about incubators before we move on because there are two new incubators added to the game. Velociraptor. You get the special offer incubator. Evolve your collection with a chance at these creatures in an exclusive incubator. Now my guess is you have two incubators and the OCD in me doesn't like how the blue rare the regular incubator is on top of the special offer epic incubator and vice versa I wish it had gone blue on blue and gold on gold but that's just the OCD in me if we look at the price the two rares are both 540 at level 6 they will increase at a 10% rate for both my epic incubators are 2670 cash each and there's really no difference if we look at the rare you're going to get guaranteed 431 dna of rare dna and then 2606 of just generic dna so it could be anything wild card dna if you will and 2789 coins and if we look at the special offer it is the exact same thing and that goes for the epic incubator 212 epic guaranteed 369 rare DNA guaranteed and a total of 4213 guaranteed for total DNA and that's going to be the same numbers as the epic special epic herbivores DNA or uh, incubator so they did add those into the game looking at our Triceratops Gen 2 first we are going to have to create it it takes 50 DNA to create so basically the first one you catch is going to allow you to create it i'm going to take it to level five and then i'm going to stop and we will look at the stats and that's where we're going to stop we're going to stop at level five i still have 556 of the triceratops dna but at the moment triceratops gen 2 is not a great dinosaur for battling we're going to put it into battle we're going to try to put it into battle, but if we look at its stats, it has a base of 1293 for health, a speed of 113, 10% armor, damage of 453, and a critical hit chance of 5%. Its two moves are low stunning strike. It's going to deal one time, one time damage with a 20% chance of stun for one turn and stun is actually a really nice move I like it a lot and then you have rampage which is going to deal two times damage but then a cooldown of one both genetic lines of triceratops can communicate freely with members of their species they use a range of expressive bellows and snorts in case you were wondering a little bit of history about this dinosaur we're gonna go in and we have incubators to open we have an open spot in our incubators and just for this and I'm not recommending that you use Triceratops Gen 2 like I said it's just not that great but for this we're gonna try to get it into battle and it is level 5 so let me come down here 
we're gonna drop it in. Remember, when you do battle, it's going to randomly pick four dinosaurs out of your eight. That's why I say there's no guarantee. If we get it, we're gonna put it in first just to make sure that it gets a chance to battle. We'll see how it does. And we got him. So we are going to take our new dinosaur directly into battle against a Utah Raptor. This could be bad. I'm actually going to, ooh. If you press and hold the moves, if we survive this move, we're gonna knock him out. And we barely survived, but all you have to do is barely survive, and that is enough. If you hold down their different moves, it will show you how much damage. You see the one cool down there, it shows you how much damage it's gonna do, so it's gonna take it from 1621 down to 11 and change. We're not gonna go first. I knew we were gonna get knocked out there, but I would say that, that is pretty successful. Um, we are gonna go with our Velociraptor. I think we can get the jump on it with Pounce. Mm. Now he's only gonna do 50% damage and he did get a critical hit. So that 50% damage is gonna save us and we're gonna go up two to one on my opponent. I'm actually gonna swap, I'm not gonna swap out. Ooh, this is a tough one. I'm gonna swap out for my Rogasaurus here. The reason why I swapped out is because I was afraid that I was gonna get one hit KO'd, most likely. Um, that's gonna do, how much damage is that gonna do? I'm gonna go with the shield first. It's, the, other, the other move, is going to inflict it so that he loses damage slowly during the battle but i wanted the shield up to try to give me one more attack let's see if it worked and it did we survived that he's got 66 which means we are going to win on the next move even if he knocks us out which he didn't get the chance because the damage over time took out the last bit of health so I know that Triceratops Gen 2 is not that great, but against the Utah Raptor, it actually did pretty well in the one battle. We did get another three hour incubator, so we will start that one. And, and we do have a couple of these that I wanna open before we wrap up this video. 188 coins, 10 more darts. Euloflacep, I can't pronounce this one. Euplocephalos. I don't know. This, this one, I always gloss over this one because I don't know. And a Proceratosaurus. 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 One more three hour incubator. And I'm just going to call him blue because it has a blue DNA wheel or ladder in the middle. Ten darts. Unfortunately, my darts aren't stacking because I'm already over the 140 limit. An Irritor Gen 2, common, 96. And a Proceratosaurus, 11 more there. <laughs> Finally, we have the gold incubator. We should get something good out of this. 500 coins. I'm up to... Uh, just over 77,000. 15 darts, which was kind of a waste. The dinosaur I can't pronounce. We got 252 of. And we got, did we get the same thing for every single one of these? To so the guys at the uh, Meta Info Hub, metahub.info, maybe we should start tracking to see if when you pick, where you pick up incubators has any effect on Oh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, 47 more. We're almost a third of the way to completing our Tyrannosaurus Rex. But what I was saying is it might be worth looking to see if where you pick up battle incubators has any effect on what you receive inside of it. 
that's gonna wrap up today's video go out there collect your dinosaurs even though this one is not the best as you saw it was one that I didn't have so I was actually happy for it and we do have really good dinosaurs coming in the future as of right now there is no hybrid for Triceratops Gen 2 but that doesn't mean that one might not come in the future and that may be why they're giving us an opportunity to pick up so much DNA that's all I've got for today get out there and explore